From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. The Sooner secondary is a bit of a question mark as the Sooners get deeper and deeper into spring football. And Ryan Aper joins us on the phone to talk about that position. And Ryan, you've learned a little interesting tidbit uh, about how the Sooners are trying to grade these guys as the spring goes on. Kerry Cooks has a, something of a unique system. What have you learned about that? Yeah, Kerry Cooks has a, a system they call the, the NASDAQ, where basically the, the defensive backs, the secondary players, are always either moving up or down. They're not stationary, so they've got a, a stock market chart, basically, that uh, you're always either going up or going down, and you never want to be heading in the wrong direction. And the least productive player in every practice has to wear a, a double zero for uh, – uh, for the next practice so it's an interesting way to to stoke competition in the spring where competition is sometimes hard to come by well what are you hearing about uh how these guys are faring considering the uh the stock market system that Kerry cooks has who's been trending up and who who have you heard uh the the sooner coaches like thus far well i think the guy that's uh moved solidly into the buy category would be parnell motley he didn't play a whole lot uh, last year, only uh, uh, played in 11 games, but didn't have a whole lot of production. He's a guy who is heading in the right direction and is really pushing even Jordan uh, Jordan Parker for the starting job opposite Jordan Thomas. Uh, Jordan Parker, as well as he played at the end of last year, Parnell Motley is really making a push to to play. And uh, Bob Stoops said the other day that he'll play regardless, even if he's not the starter that they feel like they've got some depth there that they can rotate guys in and out. You know, uh, Ryan, it's obviously an interesting spring uh, as the Sooners replace some guys back there. And a guy that they're not going to be without in the season, but they're without right now is Stephen Parker. Uh, he had a, a, a bit of a shoulder situation that he got repaired right after the season. Um, he's not expected to do much this spring. What is that? How does that influence things and sort of opportunities that are out there? Because I assume the Sooners are thinking Parker's back in that lineup come fall. How does that impact things this spring, though? Yeah, absolutely. Stephen Parker is going to play. He's been phenomenal for the Sooners throughout his career, but it has opened up some big-time holes. They've got to have another safety with the Mod Thomas being gone. He's been the start of the last few years. So uh, Khalil Houghton, and Will Sunderland are really the beneficiaries of, of Parker's absence. Houghton's been uh, a little bit banged up, had a hamstring issue that kept him out this week. But Will Sunderland has just been phenomenal. He's been the guy, sort of the talk of camp uh, to this point, uh, alongside Parnell Motley. And they, they talk about just needing him to get there in the mental side of game because he is certainly ready physically to contribute. And, and Houghton is sort of the other way. They need him to come along a little bit physically. He knows where to be. He's in the right places at the right times. He's able to be the quarterback of the secondary and tell the other guys where to go, but uh, they, they need him to come along a little bit more physically. But you would expect both of those guys to see playing time, but that's going to be a, probably the uh, position battle of the spring is who starts in the safety spot off, opposite Stephen Parker. And also, uh, it's given them some chance to use Will Johnson back there as well. He's been primarily a nickel guy, but he'll have some opportunities to do some different things as well. All right, if you want to read more about the Kerry Cooks NASDAQ system for the Sooner Secondary, be sure to check out Ryan's story in the Friday Oklahoman and on News OK. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.